Got one. I got one. Ladies and gentlemen, I pronounce to you the first ever Dollar General Fishing Combo Challenge. What is up, ladies, gentlemen, and fishermen of YouTube, and welcome back to another exciting episode on the Empire State Fishing YouTube channel. In today's video, I have a very special video for you guys. For the first time ever on YouTube, we're going to be going into a Dollar General, and we're going to be buying a rod and reel combo fishing kit, and we are going to try to see if we can catch fish on the combo that I purchased inside of this store. Dollar General recently carries fishing gear now in some stores. I walked in last week, I saw that I had some stuff, and I looked a little bit into it on YouTube, and I found out that nobody has a video of, of a fishing combo challenge out here on YouTube. So hopefully this becomes a trend. Hopefully I'll be able to catch some fish on the combos that I purchased inside of this store. And remember, if you guys do enjoy my videos, make sure to leave this video a like, comment down below whether Dollar General carries fishing gear in your area, and make sure to go down there hit the subscribe button turn that red subscribe button gray that lets me know that you like seeing fishing challenges like this as well as my youtube videos and also go down there hit the post bell notification and turn that on to be notified of every single video that i post here on youtube without further ado let's get into this dollar general and let's get some gear <laughs> Alrighty guys, so here is the Dollar General fishing kits. We have a six foot lake, river, and lake combo. And this is $20. And then we're also gonna pick up this one too. This is a Surf Gear 5.6 complete bass combo. So we're gonna be picking this up as well. And then we're gonna see if we can catch fish on this one and we can catch fish on this one. So stay tuned. I'm going to buy these, check out, and then I will see you guys on the water. Alrighty guys, so we're walking up to the spot right now. We have both of our Dollar General fishing combos rigged up. We got one with a beetle spin and the other one with just a classic small jig head and a grub. We're gonna see if we can catch maybe some panfish, whatever's basically in here. So we'll hopefully be able to get on something, but we'll see. So it seems like they want stuff that's just laying on the ground. So let me see if I can rig this up with an offset worm hook that we have from here. This is a pretty tough challenge. I mean, a lot of the stuff is kind of janky, but we'll see if we can get one on it. I have to set the hook primarily really hard, but it may just work. There we go. All right, let's see what we got going on. There's one that I can get right here. Got one. Come on. Yes. First fish on the day. Nice, healthy, about a pound, I'd say, maybe, maybe three quarters of a pound on the, and look, it popped right out. First fish of the day on the Dollar General fishing combo. This is awesome, guys. Just smash the like button just for this. Even though it's only a quarter of a pounder, it's still the first fish on the day on the Dollar General fishing combo and the 
purple uh, purple lizard. First lizard fish I've actually caught, but that's awesome. We're gonna get a picture and we'll release them back. Awesome stuff. Alrighty, bud, thank you for biting on the Dollar General fishing combo. Get back there, get bigger. See ya. There he goes, right there. Let's go, challenge is already complete on the Dollar General fishing combos. Let's go, guys. Make sure you leave this video a like if you enjoyed the fish catch and that you're enjoying this challenge because it's been pretty rough. Uh, it's been hard for me, but we were able to complete the Dollar General fishing challenge with our first fish of the day. So hopefully we should be able to get a couple more. And then after that, I think we will say that we have smacked this challenge right in its cheeks. So yeah, good stuff. First fish on the day and Let's get out there and get more. I got one. Yes, second one on the day. Flipped it right in there and he got it. Nice little half pounder. Right on the corner of the lip. Let's go. Nice little half pounder. Now what I was doing so I just had that worm, I flipped it in right over there, or that little lizard, I flipped it in over there, and he absolutely devoured it. So that's awesome. Second fish on the day, about a half a pound, and we'll get a picture, and then we'll release him back. Awesome stuff. Killing it today on the Dollar General fishing combo. Woo! Alrighty, bud, nice half pounder. Get back in there and get bigger. See ya. Thank you. See ya. It's two on the day, guys. Let's go. See if we can get one more on this to basically say that we've basically devoured this challenge. And comment what you guys want to see next. I mean, I'm down for anything, any fishing challenges, and we are kicking this one in the butt right now. This is our second fish on just this uh, little tiny soft plastic lizard with a small EWG hook that they gave us. I really couldn't rig anything else up. The panfish are not wanting anything else, and neither are the bass, so I don't really know what else we're gonna do or what else we're gonna fish with, but unfortunately, this is really the only thing that we have that we can fish with, and actually, it's catching fish, so yeah. I was not expecting that flip to have a, to have a fish, but I guess the element of surprise is Something that triggers the fish. If it plops right down in there, they'll sneak attack it. Just like that. I wasn't expecting him to come out, but I'll take what I can get, especially when you're doing a challenge like this. Alrighty guys, so this is day two. We are walking up to the spot right now. This is our second spot. Trying to complete this Dollar General fishing challenge and still have our purplish like glitter worm on a EWD Chet Texas rig. And we're gonna see if we can catch a couple more for you guys. We were able to catch two the other time and unfortunately I wanna catch a couple more 
to complete this challenge. So hopefully we'll be able to get it done. I may throw some jigs or some of those uh, little hair jigs that are in here, but we'll see what we can work with. Well guys, I tossed it right in there. That was probably like my fourth cast with the Dollar General purple worm and caught a nice pound fish. So yeah, we're gonna release this guy back. Pretty healthy looking, large mouth. And yeah, I mean, we've been slaying them on this Dollar General fishing combo. I'm actually surprised that it is doing so well. Um, you know, I just didn't think anything from Dollar General like this, especially the first ever fishing combo would perform like this, but this is absolutely awesome. So we're gonna get a big release on this guy and we'll go out and see if we can get some more. Alrighty, bud. Thank you so much for biting. I'll give you a small drop. But yeah, you absolutely smoked it. And thank you so much. See you later, bud. That's three on the Dollar General fishing combo. All on Texas rigged lizard is, you know, absolutely slaying it. And he, I flipped it right in there. I wasn't expecting him to really be there, but I kind of noticed that there was some shade right along this side. And that's really what you want to do. Guys, if you end up seeing an area like this that's all shaded off and it's clear skies just like it is right here, all clear skies, no clouds, look for cover like this. Look for, you know, fallen branches or even leaning trees and that'll create some shade right there. They are not wanting to basically, you know, stay out in the open. They want to go underneath trees. They want to go into shade. And in the dog days of summer, this is exactly where they're going to be. So flipping in a Texas rig, lizard like this right into that spot they're going to be aggressive enough to eat it so yeah awesome stuff and yeah three fish on the dollar general fishing combo awesome stuff and we're absolutely killing this challenge Nothing biting. Yeah, right there. Got some weight onto it. There's one right there, just for us. Yep. Any bite you? No, other than that one. That one? Yeah, I'm gonna be heading out. So, I wanted to know, do you want these? Just close? Yeah. You don't want them? I'll take them. Dude, I got bay casters out the wing wing. Thanks, man. I just figured you I'm never gonna thing? use them. No. I'll even give you this just in case, because this has everything else. I'm just never going to use it again. This is just a one-time thing, so. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem, man. Yeah, look at it. Well, here's all that. Thanks, I gave you a pack of Guggen baits too. I mean, we that like shit's, this, well, Somewhat. it's cross, yeah. so. But Yeah, that's how you do it. And these vast and everything, they said read the tail with a wonga for the tails. Hmm. As you know, a little longer for the uh, bottom feed, like catfish. Yeah. Then we took medium tail up for the bass and stuff. Huh. Then that's how you do it. And that's why I've been catching them up. Oh, nice. Since I've been doing that left and right, I caught 30 something last year. Whew. This year I caught wow. over 50. That, I beat my record from last year. Wow, that's crazy. I've been doing that since last year and done this year. Whew. Well, enjoy yourself with that, you know, okay. and, you know, the poles and everything. I just, okay. I'm never going to use them again. Well, you so. got more poles, don't you? Dude, I got like seven, I got like 15 bait casters. 15? So yeah, I got more than enough stuff. And that is it for today, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video all day through. I truly appreciate it. We were able to catch three fish on that Dollar General fishing or the Dollar General fishing combos. And an all around, you know, good, good first and second day with the challenge. We were able to complete it with the three fish all on that purple Texas rigged lizard. Those are my first three ever lizard fish. So yeah, that's awesome to get that out of the way. Also, we also gave that uh, fishing com or those fishing combos and all the gear to a kid uh, right out on the side that it was talking to me before. So we were able to help him out, hook him up with some baits as well as some you know, new fishing gear for him to try out. So remember, if you guys did enjoy this video, because we completed the challenge, make sure to leave this video with a huge thumbs up. That lets me know that you like seeing fishing challenges just like this one. Make sure to comment down below what challenge I should do next for a new video. 
and any suggestions that you might have leave them down in the comments and also go down there hit the subscribe button that lets me know that you like seeing fishing challenges and bass fishing content and fishing content in general and then go down there turn post mail notifications on to be notified of every single video that i post here on youtube thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate all of you and i'll talk to you guys on the next fishing adventure go out and go get them